Gather your thoughts around the breath. Gather your attention around the breath. You want to put those two things together because you want to clearly see what you're doing. Our problem is we, we go through life not paying that much attention to what we're doing. We have other ideas, other, other concerns. In the place where we can actually learn lessons about what's skillful and what's unskillful gets ignored. In other words, looking at what you're doing right now and the results you're getting. Some of those results, of course, will take time. But you can also see some results right away. When you act in a certain way, is your mind open and honest about everything you're doing, or is it trying to hide things from itself? If it's trying to hide things from itself, you know something is up. What we're trying to do is put the mind in a position where it feels at ease. You stay with the breath. Let the mind be saturated with the breath. Let the breath permeate into the mind, into the body. So you've got this sense of well-being, a sense of belonging here. Then when you develop that sense, then you can look more honestly at some of the areas that the mind likes to pretend that are not there. And you don't feel so threatened by them. If you're already feeling weak and feeling threatened, and you see more things that could be a potential threat, then you just close them off. But if you're at ease, feel at home, feel solidly based right here. Then you can be more honest with yourself, without a sense of, without a sense of being threatened at all. In fact, you become curious. What are these things that control my mind? When you learn how not to identify with your unskillful habits and see them as something you want to figure out, something you want to comprehend, something you want to abandon, that's half the battle right there. Our problem is we hold on to all the, all our old toys, all our old ways of doing things, all our old messes, and we good to clean out the place, throw away the things that are no longer of any use and that are actually getting in the way of allowing your mind to develop further. So get solidly based right here. See the value of being based right here. When the Buddha talks about the different kinds of fabrication, they all come to play a role in whatever is causing you trouble, but they can also play a role in the solution. You talk to yourself about how your unskillful habits really are unskillful. Then you breathe in a way that's comfortable so you can give more strength to the part of the mind that wants to be skillful. And then you can talk to yourself again, learn how to perceive the situation in new ways. So you're not so attracted to your old ways of doing things, the ones that are unskillful. And this way you take apart the fabrications that are making you suffer and you put them back together again in a way that makes you not suffer. You have that ability right here, right now. This is probably one of the most important lessons we can learn from the Buddhist teachings, that even though our past actions have influences that come into the present moment, they don't rule everything. They don't determine everything. We play a role right here, right now. When you're conscious of that role and learn how to master it, then you've taken care of the real problem of what's weighing down the mind, because the things that come in from the past can't weigh you down unless you pull them in and make them weigh the mind down. So we have this freedom. That's what the Four Noble Truths are all about. If we just had the three characteristics, things are in constant stressful in that self, it doesn't give much idea of what, what would be our hope. In fact, you start thinking about it and say, if everything is in constant stressful in that self, okay, where is there any hope at all? Those teachings have to be placed in the context of the Four Noble Truths, where you realize, okay, they're part of letting go of what's unskillful, part of comprehending what's causing the suffer. And they're part of the path that leads you away to true freedom.